Hello everyone, this is Mr. Informal back with another video content. Mobile World Congress 2017 is on. A lot of announcements, especially in the smartphone world, tech world, drone world, camera world, all types of industry is on at Mobile World Congress in Barcelona, Spain. So in this content and video, let me talk about my analysis, thoughts, and rant on the blackberry key one first of all i'm a blackberry fan i have the blackberry q10 and still with me because i'm a fan of the removable battery and I'm, I'm a fan of the keyboard and its size and so i'm quite fond of the blackberry key one formerly known as the mercury and first of all this is an interesting candy bar phone the keyboard is there the screen is big metal build rubber grip uh, rubber uh, texture on the back for grip and has Android nougat on the operating system let me just uh, tell you the specs here 4.5 inch 16 by 20 by 1080p screen LCD IPS 434 pixel it is using a snapdragon 625 which is a mid-range processor even if they took on the 835 they can't get it because of samsung and qualcomm business strategy there i don't know why it only has 3 gigabits of ram and 32 gigabyte of storage i mean 3 gigabytes i'm sorry not gigabit of ram well obviously it has expandable memory which it's supposed to have 12 megapixel rear camera with a face detection f 2.0 with ois and the front camera is 8 megapixel it has a 3500 milliamps non-removable battery that is huge that is a big plus right there usb c and quick charge 3.0 no water resistant obviously it has a detect security for privacy reasons and a lot of things are going for it obviously it has the keyboard not only that the fingerprint scanner is integrated on the space bar that's creative that's ingenious that's how engineers are supposed to think ingenious things that benefits the consumers and USB type-c obviously but the thing is the speakers on the bottom are not dual stereos only the the right one at the, either the left or the right is a microphone and the other is a speaker they should have made it a dual speaker. It has a headphone jack. I'm not. Sh I don't think it's high quality. I'm guessing it's a 24-bit type uh, audio DAC that they have, and they pricing this around $600, which is I think is a mistake. I'll give. I'll tell you more about what I think of that. So let's get on with the phone target demographic here. The phone target demographic based on BlackBerry's presentation is to target the enterprise consumer, the employees, the corporates, which I really don't understand because what's wrong with a consumer, just a general consumer just using a BlackBerry? Is it so bad? There was a time when the general consumer used a BlackBerry and it was the best thing ever due to the keyboard, the messaging, and also the bb uh bbm blackberry messenger so what was wrong with just using a, a general consumer so i really don't understand what's the deal with blackberry on that i think that's a misguided target demographics they should just say you know what it is for everybody who enjoys quick typing and using a phone as a phone whether it for be for business or communications that's how they should have said and I'm glad that it has the latest features of Android operating system and I'm also glad that it's actually using an Android OS. And the thing that I really don't understand, it doesn't have water resistant, but why can it not have a wireless charging option? I mean, it's not an all metal build on the back. It has a rubber material texture on the back for grip for handling the phone. I mean, what's wrong with having a wireless charging? Is it that much 
price. I mean, I see wireless charger for 10 bucks, 15 bucks on Amazon. Can't be that much. And another thing is that, man, that camera on the back is huge. It's like bigger than, it's like, it's so big that you can see from the back, uh, back, uh, far away. I think they should have made it smaller and subtle because there's nothing wrong with having a good camera but at the same time it's using the same sensor as the Google Pixel and the Google Pixel camera is not bulging out as much as the key ones so I really don't understand what the design um, mindset of the camera design on the back I'm not talking about the sensor I'm just talking about how it looks from the back and they are pricing this at $600 for a Blackberry that doesn't have wireless charging and it doesn't even have the latest and greatest processor. It's only using the Qualcomm Snapdragon 625 because Blackberry is targeting this for the business consumer who cares more about communication and battery life and efficiency than performance for graphics and also media consumption. But it doesn't matter because if you're gonna price it at six hundred dollars, it better have something that make that justifies it six hundred dollars. Don't tell me that it's only for business, even though a lot of consumers are also looking at this for their needs. This phone should be priced only at a maximum five hundred dollars due to the uh, processor, no wireless option, and it doesn't even have waterproof or even dustproof rating. If you're not gonna have well, those things, why not just have a removable back? I mean, I would have been interested in it if it did have it, but then again, I wanna know how it handles because it looks pretty big and it looks pretty chunky based on the videos and the pictures I saw. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love Blackberry because of the keyboard and communication and BBM, but this thing, I'm 50-50 on it. You know, how do you feel? Are you also 50-50 on it? Because it has things that are going for it, but it also has things that are not going for it. Maybe in two years, the price will go down and maybe I'll get it. But by then, they'll probably have a new device that's probably much better. Not only that, I really, really do hope they, when they do sell and also the carriers have it or the wireless provider have it the updates are also instant and not just yet to wait three months five months after Google has released the new update software and all that stuff and it's also and another thing is that it's using LCD I would have preferred AMOLED for even better battery life don't get me wrong the 35 milliamp batteries i think that will last a long time i think could be last more than one day because of the 625 snapdragon processor and so that is my analysis thoughts of the blackberry key one how do you feel about it like i said i'm 50 50 on it so we'll see i better i need to feel it before i think about purchasing it and so put your comments down below and so that concludes my uh Blackberry Q1 analysis, thoughts, and rant. This is Mr. Informal. I will see you in the next content. Bye-bye.